Today, I'm going to be going over how to control your emotions when you are trading. A lot of people struggle with just handling their emotions, not getting FOMO, not trading on days like today where the price action is super choppy and it's not that A plus price action. So today, we're going to go over that right now. The way that we're going to be able to control our emotions is we have to figure out why we're getting emotional in the first place. We have to tackle the problem by its source. Now, the reason why you're emotional is because you're risking capital, you're risking money that you could potentially make more money or you could potentially lose money, right? And a lot of people have so much emotions when it comes to their money, which is why it makes sense why people are emotional when they trade. They don't want to lose money and they want to make money. But they also, when they're up, they don't want to lose that money that they just made, so they'll take the profits. But when they're down, they don't want to lose that money, so they'll wait until it comes back up until they start to make the money again. It's very basic psychology, but how exactly do we control that? Because there's people out there that are able to control it on days like today, and there's some people that can't control themselves on days like today, and they'll blow their entire portfolio. So the first way that we're able to control our emotions is basically just controlling everything that you could possibly control. If you're able to control almost every part of the trade besides the trade itself on where it actually goes, you'll be way less emotional. It's like having a blueprint for a building with all the building materials versus the guy that doesn't have a blueprint and then he has a bunch of materials for building this house. Which one do you think is gonna have a lot more anxiety? Which one do you think is gonna be a lot more emotional? The guy that doesn't have that clear plan, that clear blueprint. When you have the plan, when you have the structure, when you have everything coming together and you're able to control everything that you're able to control, you're gonna be so much less emotional. Cause think about it this way. Let's say I was getting into calls right here. We see that it starts to bounce in this area and we're getting into calls. Let's say you got into calls right in this area. The person that gets into calls without a proper plan to get into calls in the first place is going to be emotional because they're not confident. The next thing is confidence. You have to be confident in what you're looking at. If you're not confident, then you're going to be emotional. If you're fighting Canelo and you're in the ring and you're not confident, you are going to be scared, right? You're going to be so scared that you're not going to be able to fight properly or even stand a chance even though you're probably not gonna stand a chance against Canelo in the first place but you know what I'm saying versus someone that's somewhat has a plan somewhat has that discipline and he kind of knows of what he's doing even though he's gonna get knocked out he's still gonna be a lot more confident because he has the plan he has the blueprint there he can confidently get knocked out and that's the difference his performance is gonna be a lot better than the guy that has no plan going into that situation. So if you get into calls right here with no plan, you're like, oh, I'm just gonna get into calls because I feel like it looks good, and then it goes down, you're gonna be so emotional because now you're losing money, you're gonna get out. And then, next thing you know, it starts running up. You FOMO into calls, so now you buy it back here, next thing you know, it comes right back down, and you're like, the market's rigged. It's really not that hard when you're looking at it from an outer perspective. The strategy itself is pretty simple. The reason why people lose is because they don't follow it correctly. 80% of trading is all psychology. You are a great trader in your head, you know, that 20%, that strategy. But when it comes to real time execution, that 80% of trading is going to get to you. Again, like I said, people are going to get calls here without a plan, calls right back down, they get out. They're like, you know, I'm not going to lose money. Next thing you know, they FOMO into calls again and it starts going down and like the market's rigged. And you're like, you know what? Let's reverse this. So then they start getting puts because they see it's getting weaker. Next thing you know, it starts going up. Then they sell. They're like, I can't win. Now they're zero for three on the day. But if you had a plan and let's say at this low area right here, let's say you see buyers holding up. We had a nice run up. It's like people are just taking profits. We had a nice aggressive move to the downside and then it got immediately blocked and started bouncing that area we know that buyers were able to sweep it right in this area i'm going to make a zone once you start to see some buyers coming in that's when you start to get into calls let's say you got into calls right here now the person with the plan let's say he puts a stop loss at this swing low right here right this low area so his stop loss is in place now let's say his entry was 402.9 that's a 47 cent difference let's say he takes the one-to-one -one restored at least right so that is that's 437 again sticking to the plan 
Let's say his take profit is in this area, but this is a one-to-one -one risk to reward. Let's say he starts taking profits because he saw that price previously was holding up in this area. So he was wanting to play calls out of this reversal right here. He played calls out of this and then he saw this red candle, but he wasn't scared. He wasn't emotional because he had a plan. If it gets down to here, he'll sell. And then when it gets up in this area, that's when he's going to start taking profits. Next thing you know, it starts bouncing. He stuck to the plan. He was confident. If it hits the stop loss, it hits the stop loss. We'll just move on to the next trade. You know, he's very confident in this trade. Even if it does go against him, he was still confident in his plan because he knows that it works out repeatedly. Then it goes up and this is where he starts to sell some. And then there you go, right? That's that one-to-one -one risk reward. And then he could have just left some runners. It starts coming down. He's not going to get scared because now he's in the driver's seat. And then it goes right back up. He starts taking profits on the push. The main thing with this is just confidence. You want to have confidence. That's the main thing. You got to be confident. If it hits your stop loss, you have to be confident in your plan. The reason why you had your stop loss there was because your plan told you to put your stop loss there. If you believe in your plan and you're confident in your plan, then I'm going to get out when my stop loss tells me to get out because I know that my plan is accurate. If it tells me to get out here, it's probably because it's going to reverse. So I'm going to stick to that plan. That plan is telling me exactly what I need to do and I'm going to execute it because I see that my plan is working 90% of the time, 85% of the time. So why would I go against my plan when I know that plan is working? It's because you're emotional. Don't take profits way too quick. I hate when people say you can't go broke taking profits early, which technically is true. But also in the long run, it's not because if you're taking profits too early and your risk is a lot higher than reward, if you're taking profits too early and let's say you have a 50% win rate and let's say your risk is one and your reward is only 0.5, you're going to go broke every time you trade because if I'm only getting $50 per trade profit and then I lose $100 the next trade and then I have a 50% win rate, you can go broke taking profits early. Because you're not sticking to your plan. You're not going to go broke when you take the profits, but you're going to go broke with that mentality and that mindset. Why are you taking profits early? If it's not part of your plan, why are you doing it? Because it's emotional. Why are people accepting the fact that you're able to be emotional when it comes to trading? Why are people say you can't go broke taking profits early? That does not make sense because now you're just encouraging people to be emotional. Oh, you know, I'm just going to take this quick, you know, $50 right here. Oh, it's up $50. I'm just going to take it. You know, I can't go broke taking these small profits. And then next thing you know, they take a loss. Now they're down $200. I don't understand why people allow other people to say that stuff. You're going to go broke in the long run doing that. The next thing is not looking at your PL during the trade. Remember, everything that you're able to control, you want to control. Everything that you can't control, you want to be able to minimize that damage. All that emotional damage of the stuff that you can't control will start to break you down mentally if you're not able to control it the right way. So by not showing your PL and just focusing on the trade itself, you're able to minimize that uncontrollable factor when it comes to trading, your PL going up and down, up and down. There is no benefit to looking at your PL, nor should you be trading off your PL. You should be trading off your plan. Let's say Jim was in calls and he sees it go down. He's going to be looking at his PL like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm down. I, I'm going to sell. I don't want to be down anymore. But if you just trade your plan, trade off the charts, which is the only way the stock moves is if you're looking at the charts. The market doesn't care about your PL. So why would you think of that as an indication whether the market is going to go up or down? You being down $50 is not going to do anything to the market. So why look at something that you can't control when it has no impact on your actual trading? There is no benefit to you looking at your PL, and it would just make you more emotional by seeing you either up or down. If I looked at my PL while I'm trading, I probably would not be able to scale out the way that I do. I probably wouldn't be able to take profits the way that I do. And I probably would not be able to trade my plan with looking at profits the proper way. The reason why I'm able to just look at the chart and just react to what I see is because I'm not looking at my p and I don't care what my p and is at. As long as I have the proper stop loss and as long as I have the proper plan, 
then I know that my stop loss is going to stop me out at a reasonable time. And I know that my take profit plan is going to work out as well. So a one to one, a one to two risk to reward plus, right? As long as I'm trading my plan, because I know that my plan works. I've seen it working every single day. So why add something uncontrollable into your own trading? It doesn't make sense. Now you could have percentage change, but there's still really no benefit to that whatsoever. Unless your stop loss is based off a percentage change, then that's okay to have. But if it's just based off P&L, then that's different. You should not have that. You're going to see that you're going to be up $2,000 and you're going to take profit. Next thing you know, you sold way too early because that wasn't part of your plan. Your plan was to hold it into a certain point or until you saw a weakness and you would have been up $5,000 and then you get emotional, then you get FOMO and then you're like, this sucks. And the last thing that I think is really going to help you guys is just staying calm just being patient listen the main thing here is you're looking at candlesticks on a pixelated monitor you got to belittle the market essentially and i know that sounds weird but essentially you're getting emotional because of a green or white candlestick if you just belittle the market and think about it in a different perspective you're getting emotional because you see a candlestick going up or down on a monitor now, if you think about it that way, does that not make you kind of just question yourself? Like, dang, I'm, I'm getting emotional because of a candlestick. I'm getting emotional because of pixels moving in one direction. I'm getting emotional because I see a green candle going up. This doesn't make sense. Why would I do that? You know what? I'm just going to trade my plan. What, what is this candlestick? You know, I'm going to trade my plan. If price gets to here, then I get out. If price gets to here, then I'm going to stay in or I'm going to take profits or I'm going to get in. And you could also change the colors of your candlesticks. This colors are a lot calmer than a big giant red candle going in the opposite direction. I changed it to white and I've never looked back. Honestly, I, I really do like the white and green because it helps you to just stay calm. You know, it's a nice vibe, right? We have green candlesticks and then, you know, just a nice white candlestick, not an aggressive red emotional candle. It's not, you know, human psychology, red, probably not the best. If you guys learn something, make sure you guys comment down below if you guys learn something and I'll see you guys Monday. Peace. Hey, you. Yes, you. Listen, if you guys are not in my Discord chat room where I live trade every single morning, post all the zones, all the key levels, everything that I'm looking at for the day, post three to five lessons per week to teach you guys the exact strategy that I use that allows me to consistently bank on SPY every single day. That has helped thousands and thousands of students become profitable traders around the world. We got people in the UK, people in Canada, people in the United States. The best part is that you guys can join this chat room as well. All you guys have to do is click the link in the bio or you guys can message me on instagram if you guys have any questions pop it up right here and i hope to see you guys in there peace hey yo Rand, turn that up